The Cheyenne has no shortage of places to eat, right? And some of those places change locations a few times a week. So we are talking about food trucks and highlighting some of the triad's favorites that you'll want to make sure that you follow. Joining us now live is Algernon Cash. He is the founding director of the Triad Food and Beverage Coalition and has been named best food blogger in the Triad. Congrats to you, Algernon. Thanks for being here. Hey, good morning. Thank you, Audrey. So let's first talk about West Coast Wanderer. What is this? Well, it, it's a West Coast inspired uh, food truck that has flatbreads, tacos. I'm a huge fan of their crispy tacos, their crispy chicken tacos. Um, they actually put white cheddar on there and they use this special Cali sauce um, that the food truck operator Grace um, has brought over to North Carolina. Um, and, and they're great for vegetarians too. They've got a lot of great flatbreads and tacos if you don't eat meat. Awesome, West Coast Wander. So all West Coast flair. What do you what do you think that their main type of menu item is? I'd, I'd say the flatbreads are the most popular, okay. and um, and you know we we've seen a lot of food truck festivals already this summer. Um, West Coast Wander a lot of times are, are are present at most of them. You'll see more food truck events as the summer winds along. Um, so so look out for West Coast Wander. You can't miss Grace. It's like a pink truck. Oh, awesome. Okay. And then what about Big Apes? What's that all about? Well, this is an African-American owned food truck and they actually specialize in burgers, wings and empanadas. And I will tell you that I, I love their wings and they have what they call a special Big Ape sauce that you must get if you order the wings. But I also love their empanadas and they have an empanada that they actually stuff with collard greens and macaroni and cheese. So you, you can't go wrong <laughs> with a collard green and macaroni and cheese stuffed empanada. I don't think you can go wrong, but you had me with the wings, with the big ape sauce. I'm a wings gal. All right, so that is definitely one on my list. What about, you're highlighting a Korean barbecue place. What's the name of that? That's Urban Street Grill. And I think your viewers are gonna to start to hear a lot more about Korean barbecue. It's becoming a lot more popular here in the triad, not only in terms of the Urban Street, Urban Grill, Urban Street Grill food truck, but also you're starting to see more brick and mortar restaurants that open up that do Korean barbecue. And it's really different than American barbecue. They, they specialize in using center cuts of meat um, they, they slow cook it like we do, um, but unlike we use all parts of the, the cow or all parts of the, the, the pig, they only use the center cut pieces. Okay, and then what about, we have a pizza place, Giano's Woodfire Pizza, they have their own food truck? They do, and you don't normally think about wood-fired pizza on the back of a food truck. Um, they do have it. This is actually a spin-off from a popular restaurant over in Kernersville called Giano's. That's a full-service Italian restaurant. Dave Nicoletta, he's an experienced restaurant operator. He also owns Giada's over in High Point and last year decided that he wanted to get in the food truck business. So typically, Audrey, you see food truck uh, operators being first-timers. Um, this particular truck is actually ran by a veteran operator. Okay, good. Glad you mentioned that. And you have a final recommendation for us. Yeah, your viewers are going to love Mobley's. Um, ran by a husband and wife team. You'll see them all over the triad. They've got pork chops. They've got chicken. They've got steak. They've got burgers. But what people really go crazy about are their funnel cakes. They have these really elaborate funnel cakes, blueberry funnel cakes, chocolate funnel cakes, funnel cakes. And that, that's typically why you'll see people in their line. And say the name of that one again. It's called Mobley's, Mobley. and it's actually ran by a husband and wife team. You'll see them on the back of the truck. Okay, wow, what a great plethora of options for us. My goodness, fantastic. Thank you, Algernon. And people at home, they can follow along with you at the Eat Drink Triad Facebook page. And take a look at your screen now, folks. Take a photo of this in case you missed any of those recommendations from Algernon. Here they are right now. West Coast Wanderer, Big Apes Foods, Urban Street Grill, Giano's, wood-fired pizza and Mobley's.